Hello, Brick Dark here, and today I'm reviewing the Jabba's Palace set from 2012. It has nine characters, 717 pieces, and retailed for $120 in the United States. The first figures we'll look at are Jabba and Salius Crumb. Salius Crumb is just one piece, it's all made of rubber. He has one anti stud on the bottom. Uh, he is exclusive to this set. You can see has some eye printing, and it's the only time we've ever gotten um, one of his species was in this set. As for Jabba, this version is much better than the 2002 version, as the tail is a lot shorter, and there's actual printing. You can move the head around. It is three separate pieces. You have this body, this Technic pin, and then this head, which just attaches like that but that's it for Jabba he can attach to uh, like 60 20 studs so that is Jabba the Hutt. Here is Bib Fortuna and this version is exclusive to this set he actually has some nice printed eyes I do believe this headpiece is the same as the 2002 version um, you got some similar printing to the 2002 version and this older style cape and there's no back torso printing or back facial expression So that's it for Bib Fortuna Here is Princess Leia in her bounty hunter disguise. I forget what the bounty hunter is called, but it looks very cool You have this staff which is just the telescope piece plus a pole and then you have this thermal detonator print which is not too common nowadays, so it's always nice to get that. You have the specialized helmet piece as well as a little jetpack build. You have some nice printing. And then they also include Leia's hair piece, so you can have her unmasked. Uh, this is what she looks like on the front, and she also has an angry expression on the back. There's a little bit of back torso printing. Which just has like a strap and some more of that armor on the front. But that is it for Princess Leia in her bounty hunter disguise. Here is the old Chewie that they've been using since like 2000, I think, exactly 2000. And I think this was the very last time before they started actually printing like his eyes and stuff. He does come with some handcuffs, and there's no torso printing underneath, is this part. It just goes over the head. So that's it for Chewie. Han Solo is included in this set. On one side, he looks like he's frozen in carbonite. And on the other side, he just looks very, um, disgruntled. Um, this torso print, I don't think is exclusive. I think it might have come in a DVD promo, but... It's just a simple, simplistic print that you could probably use um, on some other figures. It's some, just a nice creased shirt design. Here is Ula, which, okay, we got this figure. Uh, I'm pretty sure this figure is like a stripper or something, so... Oh, this character. Uh, it's a cool figure, you got some fishnet detailing, as well as a uh, unique coloration for this twilight piece. And you have a happy face on the back but this is a bit of a shocking figure uh for lego to make they're usually rather kid friendly and even though like you don't see any like nudity um she's also known only for the fact that she gets eaten alive so there's that as well very surprising figure for lego to make Here's the Gamorrean Guard, which has the same print and piece as the one in the Rancor Pit set, except this one has an axe. Uh, if you don't know how this works, it just attaches to a minifigure head. Like that. And yeah. Very, very cool figure that only appeared in these two sets. So, that's pretty cool. Finally, there's the Bama... Boama Monk or something, I don't know how to say it, but it does use the crystal ball piece with a stud inside it, as well as these black katanas for legs. I think it looks pretty cool, it's not too much changed from the 2002 version, if anything, but still a pretty cool build and technique for building it. For the build of Jabba's Palace, you can easily detach the 
tower on the side, and so we'll take a look at that first. This tower is definitely more of a afterthought, I guess. You have a crate with a long blaster in it, a shorter blaster up here, and some electro binoculars as well as a bottle. Now, from the front, it looks pretty cool. You have this turret, and also you have uh, right here you have the little droid thing um as a print and uh, that is exclusive you can just push that out like this and then push it back also you can put this up and it uh the gate stays up and then you just push this back this just holds it in place i think that's pretty cool also you get a lot of these tan dome pieces which is very nice there's also some of these castle pieces in tan but this is more of I guess the side build, um, but it still looks pretty nice, but the main attraction is the actual palace itself. This is pretty nice, as it has some pretty cool features. So this is the main build for Jabba's palace, and I have to say it's very good. You have a couple of little tables with some cups, you have this build for like Jabba's drink or something. One thing I will say is that trying to get him to hold on to this is very hard. Uh, it detaches rather easily. Speaking of stuff that detaches rather easily, this roof is not held on by any studs at all, which I found surprising. I thought there'd be like a weak stud connection or something, but no. On the right, you have hard solo and carbonite, which you can move around. If you don't know how this works, you can just attach hard or any other figure, to be honest. At the back here, hold on to the clips and then put them back on here and now they're in carbonite, which is pretty cool. You might be seeing this big red thing up here and wondering what it does. Well, if you push on it, it shoots out a missile. Uh, it's a bit distracting. I wish it was maybe in tan, but it's not too big of a deal. Now, you can see these kind of levers at the side, but before we get to that, you can pull this part, and you'll see there's some fire flames, and you push this, and that's what one of the play features is. So let's take the roof off so you can get a better look at this. You can push Jabba forward using that part at the back, and a hidden underneath that is some gold a frog and a blaster if you can just about see down there which is pretty cool uh now another thing another feature that this set has is so you can push jabba back and pull this part out and this is supposed to be the trapdoor where you can put poor ula and she'll fall however that's not very impressive, is it? We need to have the Rancor Pit to really show this. So, let's get the Rancor Pit and show it. And the way these two attach is you take the palace and it just rests on top of the Rancor Pit on, like, no studs, just on, like, these little parts, those little triangles. And now you have the full Jabba's palace. So, now, let's push Jabba back. Put Ula here. And pull. She falls right down. That is a very cool feature that allows you to combine the two sets. I really, I like, I love that you can combine these two sets. Now, there's not really too much else to the builds. I've shown most of the detailing. But... Yeah, if you want to see uh, me talk about this, then there's my Rancor Pit video. But that's it for the Jabba's Palace itself. Let's take a look at the instructions. Weirdly enough, so there's two instruction books. That's not the weird part. This first one is in this orientation, but then the second one is in a vertical orientation. I found that weird, personally. There's something showing the play features... And yeah, I just found it weird. One is vertical like this, and the other is horizontal. It's interesting, to say the least. But that's it for the instructions. 
This set is extremely sought after on the second hand market and it's very expensive and it's easy to see why. You get a lot of cool, unique, a lot of them are exclusive figures in this set. Now people might be whining about how this isn't worth $120, then you gotta remember, you have like, what, at the very least like 5 or 6 or even 7 including carbonate specialized pieces that are very complex to make, like that's gonna drive up the cost no matter what. Um, I can't really give this a score as it's a retired set, but I think this is an amazing set. And I don't think we're going to be getting another one because of the stupid controversy this set caused about it being like racist towards Muslims. Like, what even? What in the even? No. Um, but that aside, I don't think we'll be getting another one because of that. And so, this is definitely the best one by just by far. Because the twenty, the two thousand and two one is just a fossil. And that's just skeleton compared to this one. And if you get the Rancor Pit, it's just, it looks even better. So I highly recommend this set if you can find it for a good price. Um, I was very lucky and fortunate to get this. Um, and I don't mean to be bragging or anything, but this is a difficult set to get your hands on. So, especially in the second hand market. So that's that. That's it for now. See you guys later. Peace.